Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for this video today. Unfortunately, this happens every year, but we're going to be working on preparing for the end of the lawn care season. So things have really slowed down here, probably even a little bit faster than they have in the recent past. Last year I think I was mowing into December or somewhere right around there. This year it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing any mowing in December according to what the temperatures are looking like now. We've been in the 30s for temperatures on Halloween, we were actually only in the mid 30s or so. And I wanted to show you what I was doing on Halloween, I planned on making a video then. However, I misplaced my SD card that day for my camera and I couldn't find it so I couldn't make a video. But have no fear, I did find it. and I'm back today. So because of these temperatures, we had a low of about 24 last Saturday, so that's pretty much a hard freeze, ended all of the growing season and everything like that. But the grass is still going to be holding on. It's just not really liking too much the cold temperatures now, and you can tell that we're not having much growth happen anymore. So I did do that mowing on Halloween, but it really wasn't taking away too much top growth. There's not much happening anymore. And that leads me a little bit to fertilizer and when I'm going to put down my final fertilizer of the season. Usually what happens is I just look for the grass to kind of slow down as it is right now and they say for cool season grass right around highs of the upper 40s uh, when that starts to happen consistently is when the grass is just going to kind of stop its top growth. Now it's still going to be building up its root system at this time and that is why we put down a little bit more nitrogen at that time because it's going to help to build those roots and then next spring we'll hopefully get a little bit more green up happening a little earlier and things are going to look better next spring. So I'm going to complete that probably early next week it looks like as far as temperatures go here. I'm just going to be using this generic fertilizer that I got from Menards. Uh, it's mainly quick release. I think there's only 5% slow release in there. And then at that point, we're pretty much done with fertilizer and we're just going to let the grass be what it is. I may have one more mowing at the end of the season. I like to clean up a few of the leaves. I don't have too many leaves anyway, but at the end of the year, I like to clean up any of those leaves and cut a little bit shorter. I'm at two and a half inches of cut on the front yard and then at the backyard, I'm at 2.75. I may go down just a little bit lower on the backyard yet. We'll see it's looking pretty good the way that it is and not too overly tall. So that's really the status of what's going on. Let's talk a little bit about how I prepare my equipment for the end of the season. All right, so there's a couple things that I like to do at the end of the season to deal with my mowers. First thing I did on my Time Master a couple days ago, which I did not get to film because I didn't have my SD card, was I did an oil change on this Time Master mower. I like to do this at the end of the season because it's just a good time when you've gone the whole season, most likely uh, when it recommends to change every 50 hours. You've probably had less than 50 hours on there. I think uh, on this mower right now, I've got, I'm showing that I had 37 hours this year on this mower since it was brand new. At the start of the season. So quite a few hours, but recommends every 50. I like to change a little bit more often than that. And at the end of the season, when you're doing all this prep to put things away, it's kind of a good time to do that. So I switched over to synthetic for this mower. And I've never used synthetic before, but I got a lot of recommendations when I did some earlier videos this year on changing to synthetic. So I'm going to give that a try, see how it goes. And obviously for cars and everything else, synthetic is pretty much the best thing you can do. So I don't see it being any kind of issue with the mower here. My manual for this mower actually does say that you can use uh, synthetic, so just make sure you have the right weight. The next thing I'm going to do is get some fresh fuel for this thing. In the manual of this mower, it does say to fill it up and leave the tank full over the winter season. Some people have a controversy with this and say that you should drain all the gas out of there. Some people say leave it filled up. Uh, I've done both ways. Uh, I used to kind of run everything out and then the, probably the last four or five years I've gone to the system of leaving things full and putting fuel stabilizer in and every year I just start up the mower in the spring and I don't have any issues. That's the way the manual for this particular mower does recommend it. So just get some fresh fuel. I don't use any ethanol fuels whatsoever in any of my mowers. So I just go ahead and get some non-ethanol fuel. Then I put some stable or any kind of fuel stabilizer that you want to use in there. Then I just run this for a few minutes to kind of put everything through the system and then make sure the tank is full, close it up, and you're done. Thank you. 
I need to change the oil in this Honda today. I have not done that yet. So we're gonna let that warm up just a little bit. It helps things to run out of the mower and to completely change out the oil a little bit better. So let's show you that process. Right, the engine's been running now for a little while, so things are warmed up. Now I'm just gonna get something to catch this old oil and tip this thing over and we'll get the oil out of there. One other thing I needed to do that you might not have to do, but I have some of my watering equipment still outside and some hoses and things like that. So I need to pick those up and you want to try to do this before they get frozen. I didn't get this done before last Saturday when it was 24, but they'll be okay as long as they're not full of water. So just pay attention to that. If you have any of your hoses and stuff outside, you're probably going to want to bring those in for the winter. Okay, all the oil is drained out. Now I'm just gonna tip it back over and put in some new oil. Now as far as how much oil to put in, you're gonna have to check your manual again. I feel like I'm saying check your manual a lot today, but really you need to check it for the proper amount of oil because different mowers are gonna have a different level of how much needs to be put in. For instance, my Time Master needs 20 ounces, or roughly there, and this Honda mower right here said between 12 and 13 and a half ounces for this mower. So you do need to check your manual to figure out exactly how much you need to put in your specific mower. One other thing to make it a little bit easier is I usually download the manual onto my phone. That way I can just check it when I'm outside if I forget something, and it's easy to just reference that real quick. Lastly, I just wanted to say thank you once again for watching these videos this year. I know I say that in every video, but I truly do mean it. I think we have a really good community going. I see a lot of good comments, a lot of good discussion, and I'm already very excited for next season. So thank you once again for watching. We will see you next time.